For Hockey Town fans, the Red Wings up and down playoff push has really captured the town right now. That's right. And this morning, there's some big news. Let's bring in Nick Monticelli live to explain. Nick, a legend of the game is coming back. That's right. I'm almost shaking just because I'm so excited about this announcement. So I'm sure you remember 1997, the Stanley Cup championship, Detroit Red Wings, just on a high after a very long lull, not having that. Vladimir Konstantinov was one of the guys that helped lead that team to that championship. And then, of course, that limo crash. And he hasn't been back on ice since then. However, today's big announcement he is coming back to play a game, and that game is supporting children's charities across all of Metro Detroit. When Vladimir Konstantinov was on the ice, everybody was watching. Part of the Russian Five, Vladi was the aggressor, dubbed the Vladinator, or the Red Shark, helping lead the Wings to the 1997 Stanley Cup championship. The city was energized, finally winning a Stanley Cup after more than 40 years. Then six days later, the city was devastated. Of the three men hurt in that limo crash, Vladdy was the worst off. Brain injuries, partial paralysis, and a coma for weeks, the Vladinator was forced off the ice never to play another game. So stand up. That is, Walk until now. Tell me if that's too tight. Good? Thanks. All right. Konstantinov's Russian is still far better than his English, but that smile speaks all languages. There we go. His first time back on the ice was slow and steady until he instinctively began attacking the puck. Vladdy has joined the Bell Tire sled hockey team. Whoa. This was his first practice, a solo skate, just to see how it feels. Here we go. The Red Shark joins a team again. This is the first time that you've played with a team since the accident. How does it feel? Food. Feels good? Yeah. Sitting with his caretaker, who is fluent in Russian, Vladdy says he understands the magnitude of his return. You know, the accident obviously was detrimental to you, but it, it hurt our entire community. Yeah. Do you think that this is something that can kind of heal people and, and say, if Vladdy can get back out there, we can get through anything. Come on, one time. Give me one face off, all right? Derek Donnett coaches the Bell Tire sled hockey team and is still in awe of their new recruit. How cool was it for you to see some of those hockey basics just instinctively kick back in for him? Incredible. It was absolutely incredible. As soon as he got out there, as soon as he saw the puck, he's smacking it away. He's, he's shooting, he's backhand, forehand, whatever it was. He's out there stick handling through people. And I mean, he's, he's still got it. Do you think there's still kind of an open wound in Detroit from that accident Absolutely. and what happened? Absolutely, I was seven when it happened. And, and yeah, I think this is gonna be a huge kind of a closure moment. A huge kind of closure moment we can all be a part of. That's the big news today. Later this month on April 27th, Vladdy will join this sled hockey team and play in a charity game here at Big Boy Arena in Frazier, playing in front of a crowd for the first time since that accident. Yeah, come get the puck, Charlie. Jason Jacobs and Lawrence Howe are on the team with him and are daydreaming about his return. Yeah, it's going to be very emotional in, in all aspects. The excitement, I mean, I guarantee that whole place is going to be packed in general and they're going to go nuts for it and I, I know he's going to feel it and it's probably going to be that mixed emotion. It's going to be a bit overwhelming but satisfying as well. As practice winds down and players become fans, Konstantinov remains a man of few words. But when asked the most important question, his answer does not need to be elaborate. Did you ever think you would get to this point to be able to play again? No. Mm -hmm. No? How does that feel then? Very good. <laughs> 
very good. I, I'm just emotional thinking about his return. And then, again, what it's going to be like in this arena when he hits that ice right there in front of a crowd for the first time since that accident, nearly three decades. Now, the game itself is a charity game that's uh, helping the GH Pastor Foundation. That foundation trickles down to help children's charities all throughout Metro Detroit. In fact, I want to put up the information on the screen there. You can buy tickets right now. The QR code is on the screen. There's going to be two games. There's a game of 12-15. That's the sled hockey game that's going to have Laddie here on the ice behind me. And then another game at 2 p.m. with other Red Wing alums. We're talking Darren McCarty, Yuri Fisher, Dan Danny DeKaiser, uh, Derek Miller, Mickey Redmond, huge names on the ice. But again, Jason Priya, for this game, for that day, I don't know if there's going to be a bigger name than Vladimir Konstantinov.